Hey everyone, so here's an update on the uh, gantry risers. So I'm gonna make it out of wood now. No, I'm not. So what this is, uh, is a block that's gonna be like a core. It's gonna help me uh, fixture everything together. And these are all the plates that I've been milling over the last while. Some of them like this one here, it's kind of oily. So on this one, I've milled both sides because I need this one to be flat because it's going to mate up against another piece. And these plates were quite warped, um, probably about a millimeter or so. And uh, so it's quite a lot thinner. Like if I put it up to this one, it's probably going to be really hard to see. But yeah, this is thinner now, but it's completely flat now. And uh, so the, the way I'm going to be welding all this, see if I can kind of assemble some, some stuff here. <clears throat> and got one over here. So this, uh, this piece, uh, this wood piece, it's like a guide and it's going to help me get all the angles and everything. So when I'm welding all this, I know everything's very square you know, to the shape it's supposed to be. And once, uh, once the perimeter of this piece is welded, I can slide out this wood core. And then I can use this one. This represents my uh, gantry, the profile of my gantry. And I can put this in and then I can use that to get the last shape. So like, whoa. So we got like this one. And I believe this one goes down like that. Yep. So these will go together, and then lastly, this one here is going to be welded on there, and it's going to make that shape. So this chunk here is like a, it's going to help that hole out. Um, what I've done is, I've gone back and measured the width of this piece, and I've made it square. Uh, the, the dimensions of my actual gantry and like my actual gantry is not like it's three three by four inches so like this dimension here is three inches and then here is four inches but the uh, gantry these are just showing this piece here so that's my profile this is like a rectangle uh, but the actual gantry kind of bows out on each side and it does add by half a millimeter on each side. So I've made this slightly bigger and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with that. I, what I might do is um, when I'm trying to fit everything up I might squeeze the ends of the gantry tube to make them square because otherwise I'm gonna have when I'm like on this one here like I'm gonna have a bit of uh, I'm gonna have a bit of like a like a gap in there, and I kind of don't really want that. I prefer if the gantry tube like slides in there and fits up really well. So yeah, I might I might do that. I might like get a vise or something. I got a big vise and um, squish the uh, gantry tube just to get rid of that bowing shape in the middle. And uh, yeah, well, let, let me know what you think if I should do that or not. Uh, but yeah, this is, let me pick up this one. So what's really left is like most of these, like for instance this, um, this has got, like it's mostly prepped. I have to grind the, uh, so like this one, I have to grind all the, uh, you know, I got to put bevels into things. So when I'm welding it, I can get more penetration. Uh, some of these, you know, like this, I just have to take off the mill scale, and I'm just using a grinder with a flap disc. 
taking that off. I think I'm just gonna go with that. I'm not gonna do the vinegar this time. It's just too time consuming to do all that. Too much prep work. The new uh, Z assembly is running really good and I haven't even trammed it yet. And it's, uh, I've had no problems. Like it, I think it by default, the way it's all done, um, it's probably pretty square as is, but eventually I'll have to go and tram this thing. And I have the acceleration on the uh, Z servo cranked pretty high. I think it's it's either three or five K. And I'll show you what this looks like when it's running. Here's a drill operation. So lots of fun with that. And this is for air. I got to plug that in. Uh, but yeah, the, the main limiting factor with this thing is the rigidity. Let's see if I can make this show up. Probably not. Like I can, I can flex these uh, this Y pretty good. Uh, obviously, this is a uh, on X. It's extremely rigid that way, and same with Y or same with Z. So no problems there. Um, I've tuned this servo. I gotta tune this one. Uh, this one has some filters to get rid of some of the noise, which helps out a lot. And I think I'm running 2,000 steps per revolution now instead of 1,000. And uh, I'll probably play around with that. I've gone up to 5,000 steps. And you know, let me see if I can go on manual mode. The biggest thing I noticed is when I'm running the edge finder or when it's moving slowly, it's a very, very smooth, like it doesn't make any noise. Um, the edge finder, like trying to find a corner is very exact with, you know, more than 1,000 steps of revolution, which works out really well. Other than that, I don't really think there's too much uh, of a reason to go extremely high with that. Uh, my main limiting factor is not the steps, is at least on the Z, is the uh, RPM that the servos can go up to. These ones can go up to 6,500 RPMs. And yeah, that's what I'm running. This is running a 1204 ball screw. And, uh, and all these other ones, like this is a 1610. Um, another thing is I've had no slipping of these. This one's kind of worn off, but yeah, these these pulleys have not slipped at all, which is great. I have nothing but two uh, two little grub screws holding them down. See one in there. And that's with all that acceleration. Here's running that uh, G-code again from looking up closer. Once I have the new ganterizers on the machine, I'm gonna go back into the the PID loops and, and the acceleration and everything and um, start to tune everything for the, the new setup. And uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Let me get this a little closer. And uh, what, I'll, what I'll do at some point is uh, start replacing all these remaining plastic parts with some aluminum. I have a chunk of aluminum up here. Not sure how long it is. I think it's like four feet. And I think I can get um, a good portion of parts made out of that. And uh, and then there's also some of the stuff I might make out of steel and and do some welding. It's just doing it that way. It's just considerably more time consuming. Um, steel might be good for the motor mounts because they're tall. And uh, yeah, but I haven't really played with the designs of anything left, uh, yet, so I'll see. What I'll, what I'll probably do is, if I use that aluminum, uh, I'll probably use a big chunk of it and, and not go really thin. Like, what is this? Uh, this is an inch tall? Yeah. So I'll try and keep that, that width in here just so the, uh, ball screw, the, the motors when they're moving around, they're not kind of you know, kind of wobbling around and stuff, so they're so everything stays very rigid. 
the other option is to just like take these heights of things, same with down here, and uh, um, just weld it all in together. So like, you know, have a vertical piece, put the horizontal one, and then put gussets on the side to make it very rigid. That's a possibility, but it's just a lot of time, so I'm not sure if I'll be doing that or not. And uh, these uh, ball screws on this side will be placed down the side here instead of running on the top. And that should help with uh, keeping everything cleaner. And yeah, I gotta move a lot of that stuff out of the way. Gonna remove the, um, the homing switches. Gonna move them down as well. Just get rid of anything unnecessary and just keep the 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 uh, bearing carriages and the rail on top. And that should reduce a lot of the junk that gets stuck in here. So I think uh, that's that's really it for this one. Not a whole lot of uh, update on this thing. What I'll probably do is when I start uh, welding these plates over here probably do what I did in the, one of the previous videos where I kind of go through and record the steps. Um, at least I, I find that kind of interesting so uh, we'll see how that goes. It is a lot more time consuming trying to set up counter angles and, and all that but uh, yeah we'll see.